We love this house. It really has it all. Yeah, but a neighbor, he's a little opinionated. Next on Golf Dad. Steer Act 1! I think it'll make me a big salad. Steer Act 2! At least Geico makes it easy to bundle our home and car insurance. Strike 3! What are you talking about? That's a cute shirt. You need glasses, pal. That's it. You're out of here. For bundling made easy, go to Geico.com. He's done this to me before. <laughs> that amazing commercial with Ken Griffey Jr. and his wife Melissa has taken baseball Twitter by storm. And there's been a question floating out there. Is that Jim Joyce? Well, let's put the rumors to rest. It is Jim Joyce, and he joins us now. Jim, thanks for being on Intentional Talk. Are you more famous now than ever before with this commercial? <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. I was uh, pretty infamous in 2010, so uh, this has caught me by surprise, to be very honest with you, on how this has turned into the mystery of, is that Jim Joyce with Ken, <laughs> Ken Griffey Jr.? So uh, I think it's actually kind of cool. And um, that's why they made me wear a mask the whole time is because, first of all, I mean this, and uh, <laughs> but, uh, also for the mystique behind it, I guess. Hey, I love it. The only thing you're missing is this a little more length on that mustache because that's why I like the handlebars of Jimmy Joyce. But you can hear in the yeah. commercial, Griffey says, He's done it to me before. Now I'm gonna take you back to June 6, 1989, I believe, the exact date. Uh, do you remember what happened here? I remember like it was yesterday. Um, Ken came up to the plate, Junior came up to the plate, and it was one of those days where um, everything was going pretty smooth, and Ken took three pitches literally right on the plate. and. On, on strike three, I rang him up and he turned to me. He gave me the infamous enough to get ejected. And I ejected him. And Jim LaFever was the manager of the Mar of the Mariners at the time. And he came out and he says, you can't, you can't throw the kid. You can't throw the kid. And I said, Jimmy, can I say this to you? And I repeated what Junior had said to me. He goes, no, you can't say that to me. And I said, well, Junior can't say that to me either. He's going to have to be done for the night. And uh, just a little bit of a backstory after that. The next day, we were still in Seattle. And i just like to show what kind of man that Ken Griffey Jr., even at the age of 19, was. He came to the dressing room the next day and apologized. Hmm. And he had the hat on backwards. Wow. He had the big old smile. And it was typical Junior. And we had a relationship after that, a baseball relationship after that. So I was, uh, that was my first major league injection, and that was his first major league injection. So we kind of developed a small relationship over that. Oh, that's good stuff. Hey, Jim, I, I love the commercial. It makes me smile every time I watch it. Although when I first watched it, I was wondering too, I'm like, is that Jim Joyce? But then, the strike call, the strike one, strike two, strike three, kind of didn't remind me of you. If we could throw to this, this audio real quick, we ran together a quick clip. Now I got to know, wow. did they ask you to tone it down a little bit? Because I love the I, I love the big one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Um, the first take was the I, and it was too long for the audio guy and also too much on 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 film. So they asked me if I could just do uh, a. a a vivacious strike one, strike two, strike three. Believe me, I really wanted to pump it out on strike three. And, uh, but they needed uh, certain ramifications with their systems and stuff like that. So it was actually smaller, but still Jim Joyce. That is oh, I love it. so mm -hmm. interesting. Uh, so we've seen the commercial, we've all seen it. Let's take a look behind the scenes though, with some bloopers. That is a cute shirt. You need glasses, pal. For that shirt? You need glasses, pal, and then the, right? Get back. 
Stop laughing right. at me. You're making me look bad. Yeah, Ooh, I'll take a... <laughs> I'm gonna say bubble gum. I'll take a cotton candy. Ooh, I'll take a popcorn. Why I keep saying that <laughs> I just gotta know, what was it like shooting a commercial like that? That's the first time I've seen that. And that was awesome. And it was really kind of funny at the start of it. I've never done something like this. Um, I did a small commercial a uh, uh, hundred years ago, um, but I've never done something like this a full, full production. And I was amazed by it all on the steps and how they go about putting it all together and everything like that. And they wanted both Melissa Griffey and Ken Jr. to kind of um, ad lib a little bit. Well, my ad lib was, you know, uh, my lines were easy. Strike one, strike two, strike three, and you're out of here. So when he was walking down and she said something about his shirt, I, I actually just went, really, that shirt? And I, <laughs> it, got, it got a little bit of a laugh, and but I didn't know the other bloopers were involved in it. But um, about the commercial, we filmed it in Orlando because that's where uh, Melissa and Junior live. And I flew from Portland to Orlando and it was 97 degrees with 96% humidity. And I'm in full plate gear now. You really can't really tell, but I have a full chest protector on. I have full shin guards on and the mask. And I was in that for about five hours. And actually, it, it, it did a little bit for my waistline because I think I lost about seven pounds. And, <laughs> yeah. um, and it was smoking hot. And uh, but you know what? It was really they took care of us, you know, with uh, shade as much as possible and everything like that. And the way they put this whole production together was really impressive. That's awesome. Yeah, you can count that as cardio. Now, I'm going to show you a video. Yes, Galarraga's video, because we have you here. But that's not what we're going to talk about, OK? So we got all that stuff. The main thing that I want to show you is a video that a lot of people don't know, but you were behind the plate when old Uncle Kevin was facing old big Mariano Rivera. And these were the calls we got right, Joey. See, now I want to ask you a question. Did you think we really had a chance after this ball four? Well, you know what? That was, uh, the, I guess it was called the day the curse was lifted. That was game four, 2004, if I'm not mistaken. Right, Kevin? Yep, you're exactly right. Now, I have no opinion on whether you guys were going to do it or not. Um, because that's not a job of an umpire to do that. But I'll, be, I'll tell you this. I think it was one of the most impressive comebacks I've ever seen in my 30 years in the major leagues and 41 years of professional baseball. And I do remember when you came to the plate, um, you always had a smile on your face just like Junior did, and you would twirl the bat a little bit, you look at the trademark, and you would say, okay, let's see what happens. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, it's let's be, let's be really like honest. It was yesterday. If that pitch That's was it. just two inches lower, you would have rung him up. We know it. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that was borderline. That was a borderline strike right here. That was a good eye by Kevin. It's a heck of a, a heck of an at-bat. Hey, talk about this just real quick. I want to ask you, you know, for players, the adrenaline that goes on in the playoffs, but for you guys as umpires, too, like we're seeing it right now, just talk about that a little bit, about just everything tuning up just a little bit come playoff time. Yeah, when you come, when you get to playoff time, it's it's uh, you get a little bit jacked. Uh, I'm not going to say it's the same level as playing, but you also have to do your job, and to do your job, you have to have a little bit of kick behind you. And um, that was one thing that I always loved about baseball when I played and when I umpired is I always still got that little kick of adrenaline. And in, in this series right here was probably the hardest series I ever worked in my career, that 2004 AL, um, AL, uh, ALCS, right? Yes. Yes. Right. And it was it was probably it was probably the hardest one of it. It was the most intense. I mean, obviously, look at the backdrop. You're, you're Boston, New York, in Boston. If they don't win, everybody's going home. And Boston is clawing back to get back to go to tomorrow. And you know, when Kevin said there were nothing but a bunch of idiots playing baseball, 
you know what? Maybe that was the best way to go through that because the I don't know how you guys felt, like Kevin. I don't know what you felt about that series, but it was the most intense I've ever been through. No, no doubt, Jimmy. And, I, and I'm going to tell you this, and, and I and I truly, when I knew you were coming on day, I said you were one of the great dudes. Obviously, playing first base, we have a chance to talk and meet a lot of umpires. You get a chance to talk to a lot of players, but you were one of my favorites. Uh, we always got a little boys club talking in. The handlebars are over there, but you were a great dude. You always had a chance to talk. If I didn't like the call or that ball was inside or ball was away, there was a personal relationship. There was never anybody showing anybody up, and I wanted to, you did the job the right way, and, and, and you were great at what you did. That makes my day, Kevin. Thank you very much. That's 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 awesome. Thank you for that. That makes me feel good. I'm glad I'm glad I was recognized as that. And you're right. The game was easier. The game was easier if you could talk. And um, you know, conflict never really was one of my one of my fortes. I was never very good at it. Not to say that I wouldn't back myself up when I needed to, but I always thought when I worked, if you had a question, I can answer it. It was that simple as far as I was concerned. Yeah. Um, and that's the way I kind of I kind of rode through my baseball career, I guess. Well, Jim, mm -hmm. thanks so much. We appreciate your time. Thanks for coming on the show and congrats on the success of the commercial. We all love it. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. I just want to tell you one. I just got to tell you one more thing real quick. Ken Griffey Jr. was my first ejection in the major leagues. Melissa Griffey was my last. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. That's amazing.